Good evening from Barcelona. I am in Barcelona with my mom, Kelly, you guys know, and my cousin, Shelby. And they're just doing their thing. We just got to our Airbnb and we're here for how many days, mom? I believe it's four. Four days and then we're heading to um, Portugal. My mom made this folder, Girls Trip 2020. It is 2019, <laughs> but that's besides the point. You can see that she has highlighted and bookmarked several things in this little folder. This has been a trip, I would say, eight months in the making. We've been looking forward to it. It's finally here. We do this annually. Last year we went to France and London. And London. So this year is Barcelona and Portugal, so you're not ready. Okay, we have come to our very first restaurant in Barcelona. It's called Vermouth? 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 I don't know. Uh, but it looks delicious. We're at this really cute table. Mom, are you ready? I'm ready. Mom is here. Shelby? My cousin Shelby's here, and we are already getting a little bit wasted. Oop! <laughs> What just happened according to you? The guy who put the feed down, the, the chicken balls, or whatever they are, he okay. just went to me. He went. <laughs> Did he though? <laughs> I mean, you're looking good, Mom. I mean, I was like, like, I mean, come on, who wouldn't? Super. <laughs> okay, this is a pork like taco with um, mole. And these are the patatas bravas. I mean, no words. Good morning, everyone. We have just walked to our very first tourist destination. A beautiful Gaudi masterpiece. I don't know if you guys remember, but I feel like I did do a vlog in Barcelona a while ago. So I have already done quite a few of the tourist things, but it is Mama's first time in Barcelona, so we're gonna try to get in, although there is quite a long queue. Um, it's really pre-booked tickets. Um, I, for one, I'm really excited to go back inside because it was quite a while ago that I'd been here. So we're just walking down the street now and there are all these amazing book stalls. <gasps> of course, they're not in English, so I don't even have to be tempted to buy them, but all of the covers are just so pretty. We came to get a little bit of gelato um, at this place called Recita Artesana. It's really cute in here, actually. Everything is just adorable, and look at these terrazzo floors. just walking around today exploring and getting our bearings um, I'm pretty sure this is the gothic quarter all of these balconies are just so pretty so ignore my hotness because it's boiling today unfortunately I'm not feeling very well my stomach is um, so I have to go back to the Airbnb I don't feel good at all I am at the metro station so I'm trying to get home on my own, very first time on the Barcelona underground by myself, so let's see how this goes. So I managed to do it, no problem. I'm almost back at the Airbnb. Might just grab a little bit of a snack, like some fruit or something, but I'm just gonna go lay down my tummy. Whew, what a day, what a time to be alive. 
on our Oh my gosh, what's happening here? Why did nobody tell me? So it's a little bit later in the day and I'm feeling a little bit better, which is good. I just had to lay down for a bit. Um, and we've come for dinner. We are at this restaurant that had really good reviews and it's right outside of our Airbnb. Uh, my mom and cousin are also a little bit tired because they went exploring and saw so many cool things. I have major FOMO for missing out. They saw this like human um, pyramid type thing. It was so cool because there's a festival on right now in Barcelona. So sad I missed out on that, but you know, gotta put yourself for help as well. Help as well. This is the restaurant that we came to, Bodega Monumental. So Mum and Shelby insisted on getting sangria. Um, I passed, obviously, and uh, it looks it looks. Those are pretty big glasses. Here's my hand for size. Like this is this is large. Is it strong, Mum? <laughs> my mom's not like a huge drinker, so this could be interesting. <laughs> Mom's got to get that selfie. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Yes, get it. Just get all those angles. <laughs> Duck face. Some of the food has arrived, and this is so good bread with olive oil and tomatoes, but it's so flavorful. Everyone knows how, my, how I feel about croquettes. We've got some chorizo and some camembert. Look at these fancy patatas bravas. They're like individually done. Padron pepper oh, look at it outside. <laughs> it's really pouring rain outside and all these people are like trying to save, them, save themselves from the rain and it's thundering too. Oh my God. There's so much rain, that's crazy. Good morning from another sunny day here in Barcelona. So as you guys may have remembered from my last video, I have created these goddess kits. And um, mother, yes, you may be a recipient of the goddess kit. You gotta be kidding. Oh, I'm not kidding. This is actually the goddess kit. She's been asking me what this is. Oh. Hang on, I can't lift it with one hand. There's just so much. This is for me? Yes. Oh. Mom, sit down. Are you crying? Mom. Did you just turn this on for the camera? No. Mom. That's oh. nice. Thank you. You're welcome. As we all know, everyone deserves to be treated like the goddess that they are, and I, of course, wanted to treat my own mother, my main goddess, Kelly La Goddess. How chic does my mom look in her polka dot, by the way? From one goddess to another, I'm nominating Kelly, mom, as my goddess because you are resilient, you are always there for me, and you're wise. Yes. Well, I don't know about the wise part. But <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. That smells nice too. Yeah. Questions and rituals for self-reflection. Of course, I'm going to open the daisy first. I think you'll be pleasantly oh. surprised. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Yes, queen. You got the Luna lock necklace yeah, which is the one that i loved the most that is so nice oh that looks nice doesn't it look pretty and i love this one too i ordered this uh, last week yes got it in one day i might add yeah my yeah. mom made an order oh this is a candle wow wow this is quite the kit so basically, this is a kit of all my favorite products. Oh, wow, that smells so nice. I know, it's called the happiness candle and wow. it burns so beautifully. Wow. Oh, clay mask. Lord knows I need that. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Those are silk hair ties. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, Goop, a I know. martini. Do you drink this? No, I know you're not a bath person, <laughs> so maybe I'll just take those home with me, but it's a bath salt. Yeah, no, you're not taking them home. Maybe I'll get into baths. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I've never tried any Goop products. You know what? I'm stepping out and just putting my spectacles on. Yeah. So I can see what I'm doing here. Cherry Blossom Nude Bloom. Let's see. Oh, is this ever pretty? 
Yeah, so you can put that on your cheeks, your lips. Wow. Oh, by Terry. Love it. Lip care. I've got a few by Terry products. Very nice. Oh boy. I will be cleansing the old house with these babies. <laughs> Herb essentials. Oh, okay. What girl doesn't like a cannabis infused perfume oil? <laughs> it actually smells so good. Do these go together? Not necessarily, but they can. Yeah. Lovely. 100% vegan and cruelty free. That's amazing. Shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. Restructuring, which I need. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What a beautiful package. Now, Mom, you also get to choose a goddess in your life to give them this kit as well. And this can be anyone in your life. I get another kit? You get another kit to give to someone in your life. Aww. So have a hard think about it. What a nice gesture. I'll give you another little card that you can fill in for that person. Wow. And we'll send them a goddess kit. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Este. And I'll be so happy to give this to somebody else. Yeah. Well, thank you for being a goddess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we have come to La Rambla because we want to go to the gigantic food market because it's lunchtime and we're hungry and the sun is out and why not? By the way guys, when I gave my mom the goddess kit and she started crying, I honestly 100% thought she was joking. That's why I was like, are you doing this for the camera? Like I thought she was joking when I realized she was actually crying. Oh my god, my heart, my heart. So we have found the market and I've been here once before and I remember it being one of the best experiences of my life. So I cannot wait to go in here and see what to eat because there's just so much to eat. So we've decided to get a couple of juices just to get the um, motor running. Although I'm looking at this kiwi one and I've never had kiwi juice so maybe I made the wrong choice. but. I got mango and strawberry. I'm not even sure why, but I find this egg stall so cute. Look at all these little eggs. So cute. I'm getting a ham and cheese empanada because I love empanadas. Can I warm? Yes, please. Thank you. He is warming it up. My life is good right now. We found the candy. Look at these sweets. It's like a humongous stall of like yummy, yummy, yummy sweets. Now that we're all stuffed to the brim, I thought it would be a nice afternoon if we came to the Picasso Museum because I have not been here yet and I know my mom really likes going to museums. So that's what we're doing today. Very excited. Okay guys, so we're in room uh, 12 or 13 now. Um, this is a bit of a bigger room. It's not so busy because it's been a little bit tricky to show you some of the paintings, but um, it's so amazing. I've never seen so many Picasso pieces in one place. Um, look at this. <laughs> I mean, it really is one thing to see this like online or in a textbook, but to see it in person and to like get up close and see the brush strokes is really incredible. And it really, it makes such an impact when you see it in person. And it's really cool to see the, the size of them as well. I mean, wow. How must you be feeling to be painting something like this? I have to say that I have a whole new appreciation for this. I know, that's what I was just saying. I was like, it's something to see, else to see it in person. Mm -hmm. And this looks like um, a set. So these are all pigeons. And there are quite a few pigeon paintings. Here's a little bit about the pigeons. We have come to another tourist hotspot, Sagrada Familia. And we're just gonna go see if there are any tickets left to buy. So sad to report that it's closed today. It was open this morning, but it closed today at two o'clock. So we can't go in. Good morning, another sunny day here in Barcelona. Mom and I have come for brunch at the most Instagrammable place in Barcelona. Brunch and cake. I didn't realize this, but I was here the last time I was in Barcelona and it was so yummy, the orange juice. I specifically remember the orange juice. 
um, was really good. So I'm torn because I've been we've been waiting to look at the menu, and I'm torn between the breakfast burrito, the eggs benedict, and the pancakes. What's a girl to do? This is what I ended up ordering, the burrito. This is apparently yogurt. My mom got the pancakes, and my cousin got this gigantic sandwich. Oh my gosh, and I got also got a green juice. It's a beautiful hot day. What do you do on a hot day in Barcelona? You go to the beach. So many like palm trees, sand, water, sunscreen in the air. I love it. It's pretty hard to find a spot. I'm just kidding. You could literally sit anywhere and have the best day. I cannot wait to get into that water. It is much later. Um, just as I was bringing my camera into the water to be like, oh my god, the water feels so good. My vlog camera died, um, so I couldn't really vlog the rest of the day. After the beach, we went and saw some fireworks because there is a festival in Barcelona right now. And now it's around like 11-ish at night and um, everybody's just kind of packing and stuff because we're going to Portugal tomorrow morning really, really early. So I um, have already finished packing and now I'm just sitting at my desk, which is really the kitchen table. Um, and I'm just trying to do some work um, because I've been doing a lot of traveling recently, more than even usual. Um, so I've got to like, get some work done. Um, people are always like, you're always on vacation. I'm like, I do travel a lot, but I also stay on top of my work whilst I travel. So, um, you know, I wake up early and I work or I don't go out for dinner with everybody and do some work. Um, but like right now, doing some work. So that is one great thing about being freelance is you can kind of work from anywhere. But anyway, um, I better get back to it and finish up editing um, some videos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I think I'm gonna split up the vlog. So I think there will be a Barcelona vlog and then there's also gonna be a Portugal vlog because there's already too much footage. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, there were lots of things that I forgot to vlog or my camera was dead, etc. So I feel kind of bad about that. I was being a bad vlogger, but I am like trying to you know, have a good time with my family whilst I'm here as well. But I did as much as I could, and I hope you guys got some tips, and I'll see you in the Portugal vlog. Good night, guys.